Hello everyone. Today we have somehow a weird job. This is a mechanical gaming lap uh, gaming uh, keyboard. I was saying laptop. Yeah, this is it. It's weird because the customer asked for something. You see those two buttons? They are removed by customer and he needs to uh, to swap between those two. That means we have a comma or I don't know which character it is. Most probably, yeah, maybe it's a comma. Uh, and here we have the letter A. So what he wants, if he want, if he want to press this button, it should press the letter A. And if he wants to press this button, it should do the but the comma. Okay. So now, first, let me connect the keyboard to see if it is working fine. Where is my cable? It's a Type C keyboard. We can connect it directly to the computer and uh, by pressing by pressing this button there's the letter A let me do the cap stuff thing letter A and here is the apostrophe, sorry, the apostrophe character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the keyboard is good. I don't know why the customer needs the swapping, but uh, okay. First, let us disassemble the keyboard. So in order to disassemble the unit, uh, we have to remove all the keys, put them in order. Uh, actually, thank God, the customer sent me the keyboard, the uh, box. As uh, I can still reinsert the keys where they are with the help with this, uh, with this picture. <laughs> the keyboard itself. So let's begin. Now, after finding all the screws, and uh, as you can see, we still need to swap between those two. So, what I'm gonna do is remove the board, press like this, and that's it. So, uh, 
Okay, we'll move this away. Yeah. Do we have each? Oh no, we don't have it. So it is between this key and uh, this key. Let me mark them. I need to swap between this one A, A is like here, and and then apostrophe. So I need to swap between those two. And actually, there's a lot, lots of ways to do it, since this keyboard is based on a board. So, for example, you can track those two uh, pins, scratch them from the board and route cables around it for another switch or another button but my way is to this holder put a shrink cable around the pen the pen and uh, uh, using a thin wire all along across the board to get to the other uh, button solder pads okay so in a moment i will show you how i'm gonna do it
So, what do you think? Will it work? Sold all for all for all four wires. Of course, I'm gonna put insulator just not to interfere with the signals. I will do it in a while. First, let me try this keyboard. Now, if we press this one, it will be positive, and this one will be the A. Ta-da! That's it. Let me reassemble the unit, and uh, I will show you the final uh, product in a while. So here it is, the final product. Let me zoom in. Yes, as you can see. The wires are between those captain tape, just in case of uh, shortage. So it is like insulation, as you can see. Yeah. Now we are assembling the whole unit back. Now there we have it. Does it fit? It does fit perfectly. Now, for the screws, one by one. Keys again. Then we have the A. Oh no! Now it's the apostrophe. See, this one should be A. Now this apostrophe, and this key is A. <laughs> it is a crazy job, you know. Well. After all, it worked perfectly. So, uh, yeah, it's a weird job, but customer asked for it. And uh, that's how you do it. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And I will see you on another job. Bye.